Good afternoon, Team Shepherd. Chief and I are back with you once again with our Shepherd Speaks. And today we have the opportunity to visit the 362nd Training Squadron. In this particular squadron, they train out all of our tactical aircraft maintenance technicians. These are commonly known as our crew chiefs. They have a lot of different names that they go by, airplane general, tactical aircraft maintainers, but crew chiefs is what we know them by. Yes, sir. And the mission here for the crew chiefs is so big um, that it is the sole mission of this particular squadron. At any given time, they train more than 900 airmen to be your next crew chiefs on every aircraft in the Air Force inventory. So it's a special feat. So if they train, if they are a crew chief, they got their training right here at Shepard Air Force Base. That's right, Chief. Over 4,400 airmen come through this schoolhouse on an annual basis, and they kick them out all over our United States Air Force. And as I mentioned, the crew chiefs make it happen because they orchestrate everything that goes on on the aircraft uh, on the flight line. Whether or not there's a specialty that needs to be called out for a specific defect that's happening on the aircraft, or if it's something that the crew chiefs can work all together themselves, they're the ones who are orchestrating and making sure that those things synchronize up to make that aircraft do its, its design mission for the pilots who come out to fly. Yes, sir, they do indeed. And they train on various aircrafts, uh, such as heavy, such as the C-17 to the C-130, um, all the way to tactical aircraft, such as the F-16 and the F-22. Bottom line is if it flies a combat sortie, that airman got their training again right here at Shepard Air Force Base. And we're certainly so proud of, of all of our crew chiefs that are out there in the Air Force inventory. Today we're going to talk with one of our instructors, Tech Sergeant Corey Chalkley, who hails from Richmond, Virginia. And we'll also talk to one of our students who are going through the training pipeline right now, Airman Basic Kevin Wheeler. And Kevin comes from Michigan, and he's headed off to Osan Air Base in Korea, another great assignment overseas. After we talk with both of them, we'll come back and close things out. I've been an instructor for almost two years. Uh, I think. My favorite part about being an instructor is just uh, interacting with the students on a daily basis and then just kind of seeing what, uh, what starts to click in their heads after you know, you've gone through the lecture, they've seen the slides, they've seen the, t the technical orders, they know what they're supposed to do, but it's all just information. But to see that, that spark when everything kind of clicks together and starts to, to come together, I think that's the best part. That's why I'm here. That's why I try and you know, instilling these guys is you know, that knowledge so that they can look at a component and they can correlate to what we were taught about it and put those two together. So they see the component and then they know how it works and uh, just can kind of elaborate on that and learn from there. So initially I kind of just thought they were a jet mechanic and they just were in charge of just, uh, just fixing it and just letting it fly. But I kind of realized that now that I'm here that there's a lot more into it than I had originally had thought. Before coming in, I didn't realize or know that crew chiefs did a lot of inspections and not just maintenance. We look over the entire aircraft and we're like the connect between the pilot and the aircraft flying. We have to tell them everything that's going on before so. Uh, my favorite part in training so far, I'd have to say is the camaraderie that I've had here. I've met some lifelong friends, I believe, and um, being able to appreciate the work I put in and know that every day that I come here that I'm making a difference in what's gonna be the future or where I go afterward. My instructor and the leadership here is great. They're very knowledgeable. They, you know, have really been out here and been on the flight line and have a lot of experience and knowledge that they can pass down and have things that we look forward to. Uh, I guess just in the, uh, I suppose, knowing like mistakes we're not going to make, we can learn from their mistakes before we make them ourselves. that's just awesome. You can see the pride that goes into exactly what we do here in training our aircraft maintainers, specifically our crew chiefs right here in the 360 seconds. Absolutely, sir. And the Air Force cannot do its mission in the air unless our aircraft are ready to launch, complete the mission at hand, and return home safely. And so that's what our crew chiefs ensure. They won't let the aircraft in the air until they ensure it's safe and it's ready to go. And that is why combat capability starts here.
no doubt about it. And there's a reason why that dedicated crew chief's name goes on the side of the plane. You can see that pride that goes into what they do because they provide combat capable and safe aircraft to our pilots for their training and combat missions. We want to thank our squadron leadership for allowing us to be able to come and visit with them today. Our squadron commander, Lieutenant Colonel Cleve Rodriguez, and our squadron superintendent, Chief Master Sergeant Nick Dominguez. We said farewell to the former superintendent, Senior Master Sergeant Roberto Short. He just stepped out and headed off to his next assignment, and now we have another awesome team in place here within the 362nd. Thank you everybody for joining us today. We look forward to seeing you here next week, again on Shepherd Speaks.